Hey guys, so today I want to show you how I determine which helical um, I'm going to fletch my arrows with. So you can see I have an arrow completely built here other than the wrap and the veins. And I have a little mark here on top of the knot collar right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it and I'm going to see which way the arrow naturally wants to spin out of the bow. Now, ideally, I'm going to fletch my arrows whichever way they naturally want to spin. Otherwise, the bow is going to want to turn it one way and then the veins are going to have to correct it the other. So every time I get a new set of arrows, this is something that I do just to help the forgiveness just a little bit more. So I'm going to start with one shot close. So with that, if you take a look, you can see that the arrows rotated just a little bit to the right and there's a little red mark on the top of the thing right here that you can probably see. It's a little bit to the right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab that arrow and maybe I'm gonna step back just a little bit and shoot another one just to make sure that I was correct. We're gonna check it one more time. And yeah, you can see that it turned a little bit more to the right than the last shot. So what that's telling me is that these arrows are wanting to come out of my bow with the right spin. So I'm gonna go ahead and fletch these with right helical. Basically my idea behind this is if you give the arrow what it wants naturally, theoretically it should be a little bit more forgiving. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is just a little test that I do every time when I'm setting up new arrows. Hopefully it gives you something to try in the future. Okay, I just wanna go ahead and explain a little bit more about that. So first off, I don't actually know all the factors that contribute to why your arrow would either spin to the right or spin to the left. A lot of people believe it's the way that your string is built, like the way it's turned um, when it's built, but I've actually kind of tested that theory and definitely debunked it a few times. So I've actually had some setups where I grabbed a bunch of different arrows off the same bow at the same time just to test this out. And some of the different kinds of arrows spun to the right, some spun to the left. And I noticed like the stiffer spines out of that bow spun one direction, some of the weaker spun the other. So I do think arrow spine is a factor as well. But basically, um, it could be a whole lot of different factors. Don't spend so much time trying to figure out why, just do the little test, shoot your arrow, and it's gonna tell you which way they need to be um, spun or fletched. Now, one other thing, you don't have to test every arrow in your dozen. Let's say you buy a new dozen arrows, every one of those arrows is going to turn the same direction. So I only do that with one arrow out of the group and that's gonna tell me you know, which way I'm gonna fletch them. But let's say, um, I shoot 27s for indoor and then 23s for indoor. Um, I will shoot one of my 27s and then fletch it whichever way it wants and I will shoot one of my 23s and then fletch it accordingly as well. I do the same thing now with my outdoor arrows. So I'm not testing every arrow in the dozen. You don't have to, I promise it'll be the same. Um, but if you have a new kind of arrow or a new spine, just an overall new setup, go ahead and do this. Um, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and it just gives me a little bit more peace of mind knowing that, okay, I'm giving the arrow what it wants and the direction it wants. So I hope this video helped you guys. Give it a try, give me your feedback, and uh, let me know if you think it makes a difference.